Hey guys, today we are doing up some three bean baked beans and believe me, these are absolutely incredible. You're gonna love them, so let me show you how to do this. What you wanna do is begin by adding a bit of oil to a preheated pan. And this isn't a non-stick, so I'm adding oil. Then I'm gonna add in half a pound of medium ground beef, followed by five or six strips of chopped bacon. I just love the smell of bacon frying. I don't know about you. And we'll just fry this up a bit until everything cooks up and browns. And if you want the bacon a little crispier, you can just let it fry a little more. Now the beef is browned up, I'm going to add in half a chopped small onion and three cloves of garlic. And we'll just stir and saute this until that wonderful smell of garlic fills the air. Now for the seasoning and the rest of the show, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of molasses. I just love molasses. Slower than molasses in January. Oh, we'll see. Next up, a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. I'm using the Stubbs Hickory here, but you can use a barbecue sauce of your choice. Another quarter cup of everybody's all-time favorite ketchup. And you can use whatever brand you like. Oops. Quarter cup of sugar. This is totally optional, but I just like the sweetness. A tablespoon of prepared mustard, and it gives it that zestiness that, you know, I like it anyway. A good dusting of chili powder. I guess about, oh, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon. Oh my goodness, guys, this is beginning to smell so good already. A few grinds of salt. Half a teaspoon, a teaspoon. Don't want it too salty. And of course, some ground black pepper. I'm gonna put a, I'll grind in about a teaspoon of that. And we'll just give this a stir up until the beef and bacon is covered and everything is beautifully combined. Oh, the smell. My old cowboy days coming back. Now I'm gonna add in two 14 ounce cans of beans and maple. You can use the beans of your choice. I just love these beans and maple. Adds a little bit of extra flavor. Our second beans are a white kidney bean. Now I've drained these. And you can use butter beans, you know, whatever beans you like here. And last but not least, some red kidney beans. Let's look at that nice mixture of beans there, guys. And both the white beans and kidney beans are drained. Okay, now we'll just give this a mix up. You want to do this gently because you don't want to squish the beans. You don't want to spill the beans. And you could do this in a Dutch oven too. And believe me guys, this recipe will feed a whole slew of people. I mean, it's great for picnics, parties, get-togethers, whatever you want, church gatherings, you know, just about anything. So I'm just gonna let this simmer away for about five minutes until everything heats through. Oh, but it smells so good. Okay, now we've simmered away for a few minutes. I'm gonna transfer this to a baking dish. I've got company coming over later and they're just gonna love this. I'm probably gonna have to use a second baking dish because we've got a whole whack of beans here. But I've done a little taste test, guys, and these are so spectacular. Believe me, if you don't, just ask me. Now we're gonna cover this with some foil. And it's going into a 350 degree oven for about, oh, I'd say half an hour or so. After about 30 minutes, these are done, guys. So let's unveil these and have a look. Wow. Our triple baked beans, they look absolutely spectacular. All right, let's dig in here, guys, and see what we have. Oh, look at that steam coming off. Baked beans. Three baked beans, you gotta love them. And just look at that meat, that sauce, those beans. I mean, just everything is there you could conceivably ever want. Okay, let's dig in here, guys, and see what we have. Mmm. Let me tell you, 
These are some of the best baked beans I've ever had. <clears throat> the beans are tender, they're, they're not overdone, but yet they're not mushy. Mmm, that sauce is just spectacular. That molasses, all that seasoning just shines through. The bacon, even that touch of ground beef. Oh, absolutely incredible. Mmm, beans for a king. You gotta make these more, of course. Mmm, so good.